All right, in this video, we're going to look at Mixamo, and we're going to have a look at the characters that are available, characters that we will use. We'll, we will pick one or two for our story, and uh, the goal is just to get a rough idea of what's out there. Now, you can change these a little bit later on, but in the next step, we're going to be looking at starting to think of our story and, of course, bringing it down to the scene and the previs. To be able to do that, we kind of need some assets, and assets as such as characters. We just uh, did the environment, so you looked at two environments, and hopefully you have picked an environment that you think is right, and maybe you're starting to have a, a rough story idea in mind, uh, you know. So uh, we'll talk a little bit about Mixamo. So to log in, uh, Mixamo is owned by Adobe, so luckily they have multiple uh, sign-in options, and for our school board, we're a Google school board, so it's very quick. No need to create anything extra. And uh, you'll probably see I already picked a, a character. And one of the things that's important to do is look at the name. Now there's two tabs up here. These are the animations, which we're going to need eventually. But for now, we're looking at the characters. So I don't know what kind of story you're thinking of creating, but you'll see there's pretty much a bit of everything. So we have these, uh, you know, science fiction looking guys, these monsters, a regular dude. Uh, we have, I don't know, maybe that's an Elvis. You know, I call him Elvis. He's not really Elvis, but he just looks funny. And so uh, here's Pearl. I'm going to probably use Pearl in my uh, story. I've kind of got a rough story idea. You've got sort of a princessy looking character here with a nice dress. So maybe you want to use her. Now they're all in T poses. Uh, models in 3D animation are usually in either T poses, which this is a T pose, or an A pose, which the arms are like that. It means there's no animations yet added to it. Well, this is an interesting one. It's just a mannequin, just a scary looking mannequin with nothing. Uh, we have a mouse. There's just a lot of interesting characters. So look through them and, you know, you might want to have two characters with a complementary style. So if I look at this fella, maybe there's a story between a boy and a girl, maybe boyfriend and girlfriend. And so this, you see, has the really big head and he really fits well with this Claire character. So maybe those are the two characters that I should just go for. So there's quite a few down here, and so that's it So uh, for the Mixamo. Right now, it's just about looking at them and maybe noting down the name of the two that you like that suit your story uh, before we go to the next step. All right, well, thank you.